Now to a News Channel 12 Eye on Crime exclusive. The death of a Lompoc woman remains a mystery 20 years later. Dana McPeak's family is looking for answers. Anchor Scott Hennessy has more on that. You know, it's just something that never, uh, never goes away. Ruth Whitaker lost her youngest daughter 20 years ago. Dana McPeak was last seen the night of May 3rd, 2001. Her family has lived through the pain of not knowing what happened to Dana for two decades. I think that closure is more of a distant whisper. Randy McPeak says if you knew her youngest sister, you would have liked her. Dana had a lot of friends, and Randy thinks she was killed by someone she knew and was comfortable giving a ride to. She either gave that person a ride or that person asked for a ride. The pickup truck Dana was driving was found the next day near a Lompoc apartment complex, but Dana was never seen again. There were no signs of struggle inside the truck, and a partial thumbprint was not enough for an arrest. Ten years after Dana's disappearance, a portion of her jawbone was found in a remote area of Miguelito Canyon in Lompoc. No suspects have been identified at this point. Um, at this time, we, we're still unsure actually what occurred to Dana, whether an actual crime occurred or whether she um, just happened to pass away from other causes. Randy feels frustrated that the case is still unsolved two decades later, despite giving possible new leads. The latest was a cell phone that was produced, given to me by someone to have claimed that there was a message on that cell phone from the person who allegedly uh, killed her. It is difficult to work some of these cold cases because of our limited amount of hours that we can work, the staffing here at the police department, and the amount of new crimes that come up to us that we have to try to investigate as well. Sergeant Vincent Magallon says any new information is welcome and will be looked into. These are times when we will sometimes get new information from the public that will hopefully lead us to a good lead that we then follow up on and pursue as much as we can. McPeak's family has this message for anyone who may know something about Dana's disappearance. That it's never too late to come forward because it means so much for our family to, to have that relief, to have that knowledge, to have something, that glimmer of hope. Scott Hennessy. News Channel 12.